When upgrading your Casablanca uh, Prestige hard drive, the first thing you want to do is take uh, the key, uh, the Prestige sled key which came with your system, and insert it into the uh, keyhole and turn it uh, horizontally and that should free the sled to come out. Now uh, on either side of the sled there's uh, two two screws here and we'll need to take those out at that point you should be able to um, simply uh, grab the system and, and slide the top half of the case off exposing your your hard drive uh, this particular hard drive is an 80 gig hard drive and we're wanting to upgrade that to a 320 gig hard drive uh, you'll notice on the back side of the sled we have four screws that keep the hard drive uh, you know attached to the sled so we're going to want to take those out Okay, um, when pulling out the last uh, screw, you want to make sure and be holding the hard drive uh, plenty good because if the hard drive were to slip away, um, it may call, you know, damage one of your cables. Um, now we're going to remove the cables that attach uh, to the hard drive. The first one being uh, the power cable, and uh, I generally just uh, rock left and right until that's free and then same with the uh, IDE cable we're going to pull a little bit on the right a little bit on the left a little bit on the right a little bit on the left until it's uh, free now we're ready to install the larger hard drive okay I'm back with the drive and here we have a brand new 320 gigabyte hard drive um, this is a Seagate this is a Seagate model. It's a Barracuda and it does come with a five-year warranty and we do sell these drives uh, here so if you're interested in a, a really good drive for your Casablanca give us a call at 806-773-6044 again that's 806-773-6044 or you can uh, reach us online at ody.net again that's uh, www.ody.net um, You'll notice on the previous hard drive, which was a Samsung, uh, again we have to deal with uh, jumpers. And we covered this a little bit earlier when talking about the DVD drives, but these little jumpers on the back indicate whether or not uh, this drive is a master or a slave or a cable select. Um, generally your hard drives are going to be jumpered uh, for master. Uh, let's see if we can see this on screen or not. Um, here's a little legend that tells you uh, what the jumpers mean uh, you can call us um, uh, and we can possibly help you out with this but this this uh, legend up here tells us that if this leftmost leftmost uh, column here is connected the top and bottom deal then then that is uh, indeed a, a master uh, jumper so this uh, hard drive is jumper for master so we're going to want to jumper um, our replacement drive as a master as well and right now it is jumpered as um, a slave and if you'll uh, I'll show you the legend on this particular drive shows um, that this is on this is jumpered for cable select. This is a Seagate and it's jumpered in the, it's hard, really hard to see, but it's in the second column. Column one, column two, and again it's the top and bottom are connected. We need to move this jumper over one notch. Okay, to remove uh, the jumper, uh, I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, if you also have long fingernails, you can do this. 
Uh, but I'm going to grab uh, this little jumper here. And here's what it looks like. It's just a little black. This one's black, but they come in all different colors, yellow and gray. I'm going to move this to the B to column 1 and push that in there. So now this uh, hard drive is jumpered for a master and we're ready to replace, uh, replace it back into the sled. Do that by um, with the label up, uh, reattaching the cables and again um, you'll notice here and you may have this, that's why it's really handy to have uh, needle nose pliers, but one of the pins uh, on this drive is bent. It's kind of good that we caught this. This doesn't happen very often, but um, you want to be very careful to not bend the cables or to certainly break the cables in these uh, hard drives. Um, Okay. Okay, so uh, putting the cables back into the systems, uh, the cables back into the hard drive is pretty easy. You just want to rock it left, right, left, right until um, the IDE or the flat ribbon cable is back in there. And then you want to take the power cable and do the same. Just kind of rock it back and forth. Until they're really snug, as you can see there. And then you're going to um, grab the drive and flip it over and we're ready to put the um, screws back into the hole so you you line them up and then and then just put your screws back in okay so we got the four the four screws on the base uh, installed um, we're ready to slide the, the cover. Um, these little holes on the side are, are lined up. Uh, after your screws are in, just make sure and, and securely tighten uh, all the screws, uh, both on the side and on the bottom. Uh, now I've done all this free freehand <laughs> holding the drive but generally this is a uh, laying down and um, it's a little easier to, to do but I'm trying to show a uh, three-dimensional view <laughs> for, uh, to make this a little bit easier for you. Uh, with that done you're able to pop back in the, the hard drive until it kind of snaps, you want to turn the key back vertically and take it out. And sometimes you want to go ahead and give it just another little push, and a lot of times you'll hear it click. Um, we didn't hear it click right then, but as you can see, the drive is in there securely now. Um, we also sell these sleds here at OD Video, and uh, sometimes we get some used ones in that you can uh, get for a little bit less expensive. So. Uh, if anything that you've seen in this tutorial uh, tickles your fancy and you want to pick up a drive, hard drive or RAM or DVD or hard drive sleds, uh, feel free to give us a call at 806-773-6044. Again, that's 806-773-6044. Uh, or you can reach us at www.ody.net. Thank you.